Uh, hello friends, uh, now let's solve the math stickers to square problem. Uh, we are given an array and we try to form a square. And we need to use every match sticker exactly once. Uh, let's see these two examples. The first example is 11222. We can use the first two one to form a length of two, and then use the uh, rest uh, three twos to add the other three h, so we can form a square. And uh, for this example, we cannot only use these uh, four threes. We need to use up all the mesh stickers. So basically, this question asks us to use up all the number in the numbers. And then we need to try to find the four group that each group can form the sum over four. And we will try to uh, sum up the numbers in the numbers in the numbers to get this length. So this problem can be solved by that first search um, to, the, to be specific, that is backtracking, because we try to use every unused number to form that length. So our algorithm should be, we first get the sum of all the number in the numbers. And if the sum module, uh, module for not equal to zero, which means we cannot uh, uh, get a valid um, age length. So we just return false. Uh, if uh, it can module for equal to zero, and then we will use uh, a DFS to find the full group of the match stickers. So how to find the full group of match stickers? Um, basically, we need the, the group ID. To mark this is the, to mark which group the current, uh, current match stickers belongs to. And then we need a temporary sum. And the sum divide two should be our target. We will try to find the target. And we also need the position, which marks the position in the numbers. Because we cannot use the numbers twice, so we need a bit to the uh, Boolean array to check whether we have used it before. And the but we need to optimize the brute force DFS. The first thing we can optimize is this. We will first check if this, uh, the H length is valid. And the second optimization is that if we meet the same value, we will, uh, if we meet, meet the same value, uh, we will skip it, the second one, which means that if we have three three, uh, blah blah blah, we, um, we will just uh, try the first three and the following numbers. But when we meet the second three, we just uh, skip skip it, because if three can form a valid uh, group, we already found. If it cannot, uh, uh, there is a many there is minus for us to check these three again, so it uh, saves much time. So now let's write the code. First, we will get the sum. And we iterate these numbers to get the sum. So if the sum module for not equal to zero, we just return false. And then uh, we will, because we need to check uh, the same number, so we need to sort the arrays to skip some uh, number, sort the numbers. And then we just return the DFS. And then now let's write this DFS. Uh, it should be Boolean and the DFS. 
the brick gets the numbers, and uh, we also need the temporary sum. Temporary sum. We also need the target and the position, and the group ID. We need to find the full group. And uh, this is the fitted array. So the base case should be if the group ID equal to four, we just return true. Why? Because we if we try to find the fourth group, that means we have find the three valid group. So we know that the fourth group should always be valid because the sum of the fourth group should be the total sum minus the three group sum. Okay. And if once the target equal to the temporary sum, that means we need to find the next group. So DFS numbers, temporary sum will return to zero. Target is still target. Positions start from uh, very beginning. And that will be group number should be group ID plus one, next group, and the VT. Once the target is less than temporary sum, that means temporary sum is uh, larger. We just return force. Then we will just try every number. Start from the position. I like the number so length I plus plus. Uh, if we already used it before, we just continue. And we uh, also can skip some values. Uh, values is i greater than zero and uh, numbers i equal to numbers i minus one. If they are the same, and uh, we haven't uh, visited the, the previous previous one. We also continue. Then we match the visited the i uh, equal to two. And uh, because we just uh, need to find the uh, one valid group for this particular uh, DFS, if uh, we find that numbers. Temporary sum we have to temporary sum plus the numbers i, and the target is still target. Position will be i plus one next position. Group id is still this group, and the vt. If it's uh, valid, we just return true. And if not, we will unchoose the, that uh, number equal to false. So finally, we return false if we are here. So that will be numbers. Temporary sum will be equal, uh, but will equal to zero. And the target will be sum divide four. And the position start from zero. Group ID start from one. Because we need to find four. The group ID will be one, two, three, four. And that will be new this is the uh, oh, sorry, Boolean. The size will be number star length. Oh, we also need a H case check if the number is equal to uh, the number stands equal to zero. If number star length equal to zero, we return false. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next.